Welcome back to Concepts Smarter Sketching. It's Claudine here from the Concepts team, and today I want to share with you the landscape design I've created, and I'll be showing you how to use the filled stroke for rendering my design. For a quick overview, Concepts is our sketching app, powerfully built for designers while having the versatility for users of all skill levels. Okay. Starting from the gallery on my landscape design project, I'm going to tap to open my sketch plan. Here is my design before any rendering. There's my front yard, the sides, and my backyard. I made an appointment to meet with a landscape contractor and I will be presenting him the design that I want to execute. Before we start to use fill, Let's look at my settings. I'm using the heavy weight for my paper color, and I'm choosing to always show my grid. I love using the infinite canvas size, and the snap to grid option is off. For selection, I'm only using search active layers only. I have my Adonit Jot Touch Stylus here that I will pair. And my B1 is going to be my Momentary Eraser, while my B2 is going to be my Undo. This one is my favorite writing position, and I like 100% of the pressure response. Okay, to start rendering, I'm adding a new layer, then moving it underneath my Layout layer. To select fill, let's go to our toolbar up here to get to the tool wheel. Here you'll find all of our pens, including our marker, airbrush, selection, or eraser. Here's filled stroke. It's in between the eraser and pencil. Next, let's select the color of my roof. My roof is a reddish brown color, so let's try a couple browns here at around half the opacity. I like Copic E08 for this. Since my rooftop is a rectangle, I'll be using the Precision Rectangle tool with fill for a nice crisp base shape. And I'll be doing the same for the garage area. Okay, I want a little dimension for the house area. So I'm going to add a slightly darker shade on the lower left side of the roof. And for a darker shade, I increase the opacity and I'm just going to drag around the general shape of this side of the roof. It doesn't have to be perfect because I can just adjust and add smaller strokes to fix it. And again, I'm doing the same thing for the garage. Now for my wooden area. I think I'll choose a more yellow kind of brown. I like Copic E57. I'll use the rectangle tool again for the deck and the steps since they're perfect rectangles. To achieve the two-tone of wooden decks, I'm just going to copy the stroke on the step and pasting a smaller size for some of the planks and doing so in a little offset kind of pattern. I'm just cleaning up a little excess stroke here. And this is it for this layer. Let's name this the house and deck layer. And, oh, forgot that pen is supposed to be the layout layer. Now let's start a new layer above the house and deck layer. This will be called the ground coverings, so I'll be doing the concrete and grass area. Let's go back to the color wheel. In the middle ring are the grays. From neutral to toner, 
from warm to cool grays. For my concrete, let's choose a neutral gray. I like N3. To fill my walkway and driveway, I'm just going to drag fill around the general shape and a little bit on the rocks area. Then around the concrete in my backyard space. Now I'm just going to clean up the excess strokes by using my eraser button shortcut. I'm just playing here with some textured erasing method. I think it's got a nice style to it. For my grass area, I want a pretty light green color. Hmm. I think G12 will be good for this. Just dragging fill around my front yard grass and fixing my edges a little bit. Then for the backyard, I'm dragging around the entire grass covering and I'm just going to erase all the excess areas from my trees and bushes or shrubbery. Oh yeah, and the area by my walkway. This should be it for this layer. I'm gonna name it Ground Coverings. I want this new layer to be above the Ground Coverings layer. Here I want to render my ornamental trees. I want them to be a more bluish green. I think I'll use Copic G16. For this part, I'll be converting a pen tool stroke into a filled stroke. So let me just quickly go back to my layout layer. Now I'm selecting the circle stroke. While I'm in adjust mode, I'm going to my tool wheel, then selecting filled stroke. It's gray because my initial pen stroke was gray but now I'm changing it to G16. So for these ornamental trees, I'm thinking about paper birch trees for my front yard because I just love those beautiful white barks. Now for these other trees, I'll try copying and pasting the circle filled strokes as a little shortcut. But it looks like it won't work because pasting a fill covers my layout pen strokes. So I'm just going to go back to selecting each tree, then converting it to fill. And now back to the other layer I started. It's time to add some shading by using the same fill pen with the same color, just layering up the opacity for a darker effect. I like the shadow on the lower left side of these trees. For the darkest shade, I'm going to use the shade options and choose a darker one for a fill. Now for the bushes or shrubberies. I want these to be a yellow green color. How about a Y05?
Just dragging fill around the shrubberies. I think I want to propose these to be bluebeards or hydrangeas. Oh my gosh, I love hydrangeas. Again, to add some shading, I chose a darker shade and I'm drawing a thinner squiggly stroke on the left side of the shrubs. And this time I can just copy and paste these strokes. For a shortcut, I'm going to select the same stroke and darken my opacity and paste it onto the rest of the shrubs. And now for the smaller bushes. I want to use a lighter blue-green color. I like uh, BG32. I'm just going to repeat the same step for shading on these. And lastly, the small bushes in my front yard. I'd love for these to be the red twig dogwood shrubs, so I'll make these red. But first, I'll erase the area in the ground covering layer. And that could be a Copic R29. My landscape plan is fully rendered. I think my contractor is really going to like my landscape plan, and I cannot wait to present this. If you found this helpful, please give us a like. Also, comment to let us know any questions you have, or share how you're using your field stroke. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.